On today's show, Rick has dug up three fisheye views that are true oldies, filmed over 15 years ago. They were recorded in pre-high definition days. My, how things have changed. So we do apologize for the reduced standard definition quality of these videos. You certainly should not go full screen. One of Rick's greatest achievements back then was filming walleye hitting surface lures and from an underwater perspective, no less. We hope you enjoy this look back in time. Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. Without question, the most exciting way to catch any fish is on the surface. It's an unforgettable experience to see the water explode in front of you. Of all the potential topwater candidates, very few of us would consider walleye. Deep, slow, and lazy are common descriptions. And yet, given the right circumstances, they're one of the most aggressive and violent surface feeders. As you can see, there's nothing shy about the way they hit. Location is foremost, namely shallow water up to seven feet in depth. For action during the day, it's generally an early season thing. After that, late evening through early morning is best, though overcast days are always a bonus. Prior to fishing, check out potential hot spots like weed lines and drop-offs. As for technique, make as much noise as possible. Heavy landings and hard chugging, you have to wake them up. Always make repeat casts until you draw interest and don't be surprised if you turn several fish. Actually, we had so much fun with this, we pinched down the hooks for the purpose of filming. We then field tested the method in several drive to and fly in locations. Nearly everywhere, we found there was a time and place to enjoy walleye on a whole new level. More than anything else, soft baits have exploded in popularity. Any fish, in any situation, they produce when nothing else will. Depending on the type of product, the composition of these baits can be anything from soft plastic to 100% organic, with added scent a standard. On the high end of the scale, the very best soft baits have an organic formulation and texture that is identical to live bait. Fresh out of the bucket and dripping of scent, it's our experience they actually outfish the real thing. Witness this. When dealing with pressured fish on cottage lakes, all they need is one sniff and they invariably turn back to eat it. They just won't let go, even if you aren't using hooks, as we do in filming. To guarantee this type of behavior, always recharge your baits. With so much evidence stacked up for the best, you may be wondering why there are so many lower end products. Because they're less expensive, they go further. That's important when you're dealing with numbers of active fish that are hitting purely on sight. As well, these baits are presently available in special finishes and a wider range of sizes. Being thrifty is one thing, being prepared is another. There will come a day when the fish are off and exhibit a discerning palate. Now, don't you wish you brought the good stuff? For many anglers, brook trout fishing means ice fishing. Post-spawn and hungry, it's during this season that some of the largest fish of the year are taken. For sheer numbers of brookies, you just can't beat April and May. Rising water temperatures and increased forage activity have the square tails hitting everything with reckless abandon. Depending on location, overall coloration can range from silver gray to strikingly bright. Even so, all these variables are nothing compared to the same fish in full spawning regalia. At the very end of the season, September in most locations, you can witness this gaudy display. That is, if the fish cooperate, late season brookies can be one of the most frustrating fish in the swim. Finding them is the easy part. In lakes, check out feeder streams or gravel shoals. River trout will move upstream to hold in large pools. Concentrations of tight-lipped fish are the norm. No longer interested in eating, they act like spawning Pacific salmon and must be aggravated into hitting. Spinners are good for the purpose, but expect a lot of follows and near misses. In soft baits, keep changing products and experiment with action. The point is, stay on them until you arrive at something they find irritating. In the end, your prize will be a magnificent living treasure.